whoever wins this ball game is going to have to be on their P's and Q's because that's the best we've seen Drag look in a long time. Yeah, Drag is looking like he wants to get an F and F chip. Um, he's one of those guys that's been supporting Friday Night Football pretty much since the beginning, and then also just a staple in Mudhead Mudhead League when Mudhead League was going on as well. Like he's one of those guys that's been around, and he's been balling out and. He's shown the ability to play with the best of the best, especially when he's he, when he's super locked in. Let's see what he can do. I mean, he's he's in position right now to win. He's just he's watching his opponents to see who's going to be the next up. And you know, with Drag being a member of the EMB crew, uh, obviously he labs with Joke and Mac and all those guys over there. If he were to face Rage, he'll probably get a decent scouting report from Joke, who faced him in the finals a couple weeks ago, uh, and. You know, that that's going to be an advantage for Drag, of course, but he's got to go through Prodigy, and uh, uh, Rage has got to go through Prodigy, and you see right there, we got fourth down and nine right off the bat. We haven't seen Rage slow down offensively too much throughout the past month or so. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, the way that Rage has played with how he's constantly shifting offenses, just shifting through, he keeps his opponent, he's been keeping his opponents off balance. He doesn't necessarily sit in one set. He likes to bounce around and really kind of throw his opponent off and keep them off balance. And it's been successful over the last few weeks. But last week, the person that ended that run, he's, he's up against him right now. And throwing a, a book to Pat Willis does not crib it. But once again, Prodigy's showing the ability to slow Rage down and cause problems for him. So right there, he looked like he was going with the, the flats on both sides, wanted the outbreaking route or the, the low ball corner, and Prodigy all over that one. That early interception by Patrick Willis will start him inside the Rage red zone. Kicking off semifinal number two. Winner moves on to our $1,000 final to take on Drag. The other $1,000 tonight went to VTech with a first-round victory over Joke. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us in the chat all evening long. I know that the, the drops were not working tonight, but again, shout-outs to EA Tiburon coming through. Doubling our giveaways tonight, we're going to have Troy Polamalu. We got four more of those giveaways, so we're going to do two of those giveaways during this game and two during our final uh, I believe we still have the Kahuna as well. I'll confirm that with Rockets in the chat. Uh, but we'll be ready to yeah. roll a giveaway here. It looks like Rockets said that we want to announce the giveaway. So let, let's go ahead and get those uh, dice roll emotes in the chat. Again, guys, we upped the ante. It doesn't have to be a Troy Polamalu. If you win our giveaway, you can choose either the Polamalu or you'll get a Peyton Manning pack that also includes the 92 Denzel Ward, the 92 Indomitian Sue, and the 92 Travis Frederick. So you can have all four of those players or the Troy Polamalu. Your your call. And again, shout outs to Kralo for making that possible. As we got a sub coming in from P Dog MP with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Got the dice spamming in the chat. People, the people want a Troy P. Uh, I remember the Tiger Jet guy, he ended up taking the Troy. I don't know who, I don't know who, uh, it's Barraza, Barraza, how did you say he pronounced his name? It doesn't even matter. It's Barraza? It's Barraza, I don't know who he ended up taking, I don't think we found out. However, you know, guys are taking Troy so far. We, we see one taking Troy. Once again, Chad, who are you taking if you win this giveaway? Are you taking the Troy or are you taking the, uh, the Peyton Manning pack? Yeah, Barraza took Troy, according to Rockets. Oh, okay. So I still think I've taken the four, the four items out of the most feared promo. I know that the, the Troy P is, you know, limited. It's, you know, a two million coin item right now on the auction house if you wanted to go buy him. But mm -hmm. for me personally, I... Strong safety is so deep. You've got Tillman, you've got Adams, Ed Reed, got that Jabril Peppers that just came out. It's just a very loaded position, and I think in this game with the the way it's played with running the ball, you want an enforcer at strong safety. So with Troy P not getting that, he's more kind of like a he's he's got all around ability, but he just doesn't get that enforcer, which is pretty huge in this game. Yeah, most definitely. And I, like I was telling Rockets earlier today. And shout out to Texas Tough SOB for winning the giveaway. Make sure you make sure you check check out your 
Whispers. That's my guy, Texas Tough. He's been he's been an OG in my channel for a long time. Hey, he's been following the channel since June 5th or July 5th of what year? 2018. 2018. Yeah, he's been following for a while. You shout out to you, Texas Tough. Make sure you check your whispers because we would not like we haven't had a reroll yet today. Um, we couldn't give away an item last yeah. week. That was brutal. Exactly. People didn't want the Joe Thomas and what was the other choice? It was Joe Thomas or the was it the most fear pack? Yeah, I think so. It was the most fear pack. So, yeah. We couldn't give them away last week. This week, I guess people, Troy P is a hot commodity out here. Yeah, the, the fans wanted him for years. They finally get him. Everybody wants that uh, uh, that Troy Polamalu. Somebody just asked, when's the next update on Playbook GG? We just put a game plan on the site this week, Toberly. Uh, so make sure you go check it. Who, who's the one card, if you had a choice, that you would like? Who would you want? Who's on your wish list? Right now? I want Randy Moss so badly. I just I just went out and bought the Peyton Manning today, powered him up all the way, put pocket lead, put pocket dead eye, and hot route master on him. Now I just need the receiving core to go with it. As underneath, that's going to be caught for a first down. Nice dot there by Rage. Going to give him first down at the 36. But, yeah, I, I want Randy Moss. I want somebody that can stretch the field vertically, get off press, you know, Moss people downfield. Um, it's so important to, to have that, that type of receiver that stretches the field vertically for you. And I just don't have that right now. My receiving core is really thin, doesn't get off press. I've got Marvin Harrison, Sammy Watkins, and that new Tyler Lockett. So I'm hurting at receiver right now. And that will take us to the second quarter. And it is Rage down by three. He did throw a pick on his first drive of the game. Patrick Willis with the interception by Prodigy inside the Rage red zone. He did stall out, though. He took the three. Now, Bo Jackson, nothing doing. Great run defense by Prodigy. Uh, there is not a Charles Woodson card in Mutt, at least to my knowledge. Yeah, I picked up Terrell Owens as well, Toberly. Um, so we'll see if he helps me with that press issue. He's, got that, he's really good. He's got 90 release. So. He's great after catch as well. He's great after the catch. See Gatsby in the chat. I know that's him because his name is White. So if I can't see the name, I know it's the great Gatsby hanging out. Thank you for supporting every single week, my man. So now Prodigy with that three-point lead back in the strong eye tight. He's going to motion the receiver to the near side. Two tight end set, and Jackson takes a huge hit. Looks like Jadavion Clowney out there. Is that who that is? Certainly is. Jadavion Clowney. I wonder if that's the the newest uh, card that literally every pro out there is asking. You see it on Twitter. Does anybody have a Clowney I could borrow? Yeah, it's that Clowney is the real deal. Has all the traits. People love him. Kind of gives you that uh, LT feel in the pass rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's... He's really good. It's, honestly, we've been getting some good cars lately that, that can really make a true impact on the field. Oh, huge play right there. That was crazy. He didn't even click on for that. A little at least RPO. It didn't look like it. Yeah, a little RPO right there. Had the free runner, and Lawrence Taylor gets his hands up. If you can't, if you can't get to the passer, get your hands up. That's what they tell you. See right there, that was a drop. To, that would have been a pick six if he holds on to that. Rivers, quick snap underneath. Again, great defense by Rage. It's going to bring out fourth down and 12, and Prodigy will bring out the punt team. Weightlifting Hulk says wide receivers in Mutt are lacking this year. Well, that, Moss is, that Moss is huge. I've got to figure out a way to go get him because uh, – you got a guy like Peyton Manning, like I'm committing to Peyton Manning as my quarterback for probably the next at least month or two, um, just because I uh, he's my all-time favorite player and he's a sitting duck back there. So I've got to get receivers that get off the get off the line and get open. So with Peyton Manning, you also got to infuse a couple million coins into your receiving core. Wheel out of the backfield, and that's not going to be enough for a first down, but it will be third down and short, as that's a pickup of seven for Bo Jackson. Merc Squad says, I got Moss today. Nice, man. I'm so, I'm so jealous. Yeah, definitely time for the uh, 
definitely time for the uh, receivers to get better. Going to look for the wheel again, but great lurk by Willis, and that's going to force the check down. And Corey Grant, I don't think he's going to have enough there. I think that spot, no, they are going to give him the spot there. Man, generous. He was sitting there on the sideline. Yeah, they really like that oh, Corey Grant at tight end because he's, I mean, he's 22 cap. They can get him at tight end, and he's 87 speed, so you can he can do, oh, that's not Corey Grant there, but he can do things like that. Huge, huge touchdown right there for Rage down the field to Tyreek Hill. Goes up 7-3. Saw right there, kind of went with uh, all vertical routes right there. He's looking to inside seam. That Corey Grant you were talking about, 87 speed, he didn't like the look over there, so he glances to the other seam. That's tough right there. Uh, a lot of times if you're playing man coverage down the middle in the slot, and that's Tyreek Hill, you're either asking a safety, an outside backer, or a slot corner to run with him. That's usually not your top-end corner that you're paying for, especially in salary cap as Rage takes the lead just like that. Now with the four-point lead, we'll see if Prodigy has a two-minute drill with all three timeouts remaining heading into half. Prodigy does have the ball coming out of the break. Little uh, single back wing tight, but he's got that U off look right here. And he's going to go stretch. Bo cutting back inside. And again, great defense by Rage. His fourth carry, only three yards to show for it in this ball game. Is again, we talked about at the top of the broadcast. Guys just are really settling in and run defense. We yes. saw uh, VTech had, what, like nine carries for 10 yards with Gale Sayers. Yeah, most definitely. And like I said earlier today, I found out something defensively that's, that's making my run defense even better now. And so because of that, like I said, you want to consider passing the ball more a few more times to kind of expose this edge bliss, especially if you have a hot route master. He has a hot route master back there. So if you add, you incorporate some, some short posts and corner outs and different things like that, you're going to call, you're going to give this edge bliss problems and force the defender, the defender to have to think about mixing in some zones or different adjustments to try to stop the pass as well. I form close here for Prodigy on the 35-yard line. Again, once again, Bo Jackson runs into a wall. Just over two yards per carry. Drag watching attentively. I'm sure he's taking notes on uh, route combinations. You got to see what players are calling here route combo-wise on second and third. And long and, again, pressure from Rage. It was that Shazier making a play. That Shazier is so good. I hear people talk about him all the time and how, you know, people will say he doesn't have that high a pass block. I mean, not pass block, block shed in, in, as far as making plays on the run. But I, it's just something about him where he just makes plays. He just finds a way. There he is again. He forces that pressure. Did, did he they, catch that? He did. He caught it. Across midfield to the 48. Three seconds left in the first half. I would be fuming, but, uh, you know, it's it's okay in this spot. You just got to not give up the Hail Mary, and you're yep. okay. Got to relax. Just relax just a little bit there, you know, and just getting some three deep. Call it, Just call it a day. Go into half. Don't give up a huge touchdown. Even there, that was a mistake right there to run straight down with your user. Get back. It's three seconds. You don't need to hit it in the backfield. You just need to make sure you don't give up a touchdown before half. Because that's, that's the only thing that can get you at that point with it, with it only being three seconds left. Texas Tough SOB did claim his giveaway. He took the most feared pack. But let's go ahead and roll another one here to start the second half. Again, if you win the giveaway, we'll go ahead and show the card on the stream if we can here. A little bit of technical difficulties here with the stream that we're capturing. But if you guys do win the giveaway, you can win a Troy Polamalu Madden Ultimate Team 10 item. If that doesn't pique your interest, we'll give you a pack containing the newest Peyton Manning. Denzel Ward, and Dominican Sue, and Travis Frederick. So you can take home those four most feared items if you don't want the Troy Polamalu. Let us know in the chat, what would you guys take if you want? Are you taking the most feared pack, or are you taking the Polamalu? Ace Venom in the chat was wondering, do you have to be subbed in order to win the giveaway? You do not. Just have to be following the channel. Don't get yourself timed out in the chat. Just be a positive force for good. As you guys know, we have one of the best Twitch communities. You guys are awesome. I mean, you can go around. In general, the Madden community, in, in my opinion, has matured up quite a bit. Yes. Uh, and 
you guys kind of set that example for the rest of the rest of the streams. Oh yeah, most definitely. The Friday night football chat is the best chat. It's the best chat in Ma in the Madden community. Period. Hands down. Hands down. It's the best chat in the Madden community. The second best chat is my chat. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be selfish here. You know, you can have third if you want. Oh, if you sure, like. why not? Yeah, yeah, a little bias. Why not? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. You guys are the best chat for real. You know, these you guys in the chat are always positive. I mean, there's always a select few that you know want to be a butthole, but <laughs> it's it, honestly. For the most part, all of you guys are great. Even even the guys that like to troll us, they're just they just want to troll. Everybody has to have their place. Some of them just have to troll, and it is what it is. And then they realize that they're the they're in the minority in our chat. So. Exactly. We see a lot of our tr our trolls turn into regulars every single week. Hey, our guy, one great user in the chat, hanging out. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for dropping right. by. I mean, the biggest troll of them all. Like, I mean, the biggest <laughs> troll of them all. Hey, we need to show user this screen, uh, if we can here, uh, Will, because y if you guys watch user out there in the community as we have the stretch looking, and again, great run defense. User, is this, uh, you, your theater got this right here at home? Yeah, you, what do you think, user? Yeah, you, this isn't the green screen, user. You <laughs> stepping our game up. And yes, our seeing is our, our box lights are reflecting off of that. When we stand up, obviously, uh, that reflection is not the same. So when we call the final, it'll be a little bit different. But, you know, we're on our feet for about five or six straight hours during these streams. So uh, we, we took our semifinals opportunity to sit down. I mean, I was all – let's correct this. I'm going to put it on you. Um, we're gonna blame Zan for us sitting down. I was, I was. <laughs> Zan wants to be I the lazy out, one. I tapped out. Okay. He tapped out. Okay. He, could, he couldn't stand up for an extra few hours, <laughs> and because he's sitting down, I gotta sit down. So, it, there you have it, Chad. Hey, you're eye level with the with the monitor. I gotta bend over. And <laughs> oh, so we taking <laughs> high we're shots. We're now. taking shots. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> First out of 10 here for Prodigy, trailing by four, start of the second half. He's going to be in this gun doubles halfback weak formation. C. Pity, appreciate you, man. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> Zan Pansy confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just because I'm standing up. All right, I'm standing up now. All right, say Bo no Books more. called me out. You know, I got to answer See, the bell. Sometimes chat. Sometimes you just you have to put the pressure on them, Chad. This is what it is. You you put a little bit of pressure on them, and then they have no choice, but they have no choice but to oblige, and and that's exactly what happened, Chad. Just like that, prodigy, a little swivel swerve into the end zone for a touchdown. He's going to take the lead. Extra point will make it a 10-7 ball game. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. <laughs> Slow Buster said Zan stands for what he believes. I believe in standing <laughs> in front of the Friday Night Football screen. Uh, Buffalo, K Buffalo K says, I don't have to take your abuse, Bugs. Uh, you don't. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be a positive force for good. And He's looking out for my health. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't seem like I'm being positive, but at the end of the day, I'm looking out for my guy. 10-7 ball game is Prodigy. Reclaims the lead. Now Rage suddenly down by three. Prodigy's played really good defense in this game. We've seen Rage. He bounces back and forth. Tight slots into the single back wing close flex, into eye form close, into strong eye tight, into eye form tight, into eye form wing. He gives you every look in the Oakland book. Prodigy's had answers for all of it so far, and again, just great defense and Rivers, nowhere to go. Another coverage sack. Shout out to Gondrepreneur in the chat for winning the giveaway. I've been following since June 28th. I need to make, make the screen larger to see the year. No matter what, he's been following for a June while. June 28th of this year. Okay. He's been following since June 28th of this year. He's a subscriber. He claimed Troy. It's been it's been about 50-50. Actually, it's been a little bit over. I mean, most people really want that Troy Polamalu. Yeah, Texas tough one with the MF pack. I don't know if we mentioned that or not. I'm with it. That's what I would have taken. But, uh, I mean, my team is less complete. Like, I, I think if you have a god squad, you're full at every position. What I think Denzel Ward applies. You're not using Peyton Manning unless you just want to use Peyton Manning. Because, you know, Luck, Young, Vic, Lamar. Those are mobile quarterbacks winning competitive Madden. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's... 
depends on what you need. And I need bodies on my team right now. So I would have taken the most feared pack. I've already got the Jamal Adams at strong safety. But, right. man, that Polamalu would be pretty nice in some sub packages. I mean, you could run him at linebacker. He's got 93 play rec, some good hit power. He just doesn't have the enforcer, and that's my big thing at the strong safety spot. Right. Yeah, yeah. honestly, at safety, that's what I'm looking for. When I look at safeties at this point in the year, I'm looking at can I get an enforcer there? And that's really what I want. I don't have Pat tell me yet because, you know, no one wants to do my solos. I, I'm definitely not going to do solos. It, it's so painful to do them. I, shout out to everybody in the chat that does solos. <laughs> I don't do them either. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling. I'm trying to get Pat Tillman, but it's taking me forever. All right, folks, don't lie to me. Now that everybody's done with their Mutt 10 solos or very, very close to done and going to be able to choose their own Mutt 10, are you, like, really salty? Because I, I always get salty. Because every single year I'm like, ah, solos, I'm not doing them. It's yeah. 10 weeks of solos. I don't want to do them. And everyone's like, you're just being lazy, Zan. Yeah. And then 10 weeks later, well, I'm like, I really should have done huh? my solos, man. The laziness is a common theme here. I'm starting, <laughs> I'm starting to get it. <laughs> I take a shot at your height, and then he's just coming right back at me. I know I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, like I, just like you, I get very, like I get salty every time when I see it. Like it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, you you, you get a little bougie, and you ne you don't want to do the solos. <laughs> you think you're too good for solos, and you're above it, and then you're sitting back and you're FOMO. You're, you're just you're okay. missing out. These guys are getting free content while we're suffering. You get teabagged by that free moss that a bunch of these guys are about to pick in a few weeks, and you're like, ah, I should have done my solos too, man. Exactly. Pressure off the edge, and Prodigy is just mixing it up beautifully right now. Lawrence Taylor with his second sack of the ball game, and now Rage will line up from 50 yards. And the kick is up, and it is good. So we got a 10-10 ball game, 249 to go. Money drive coming up for Prodigy. If he can close this out with no time left, he will move on to our finals. And of course, Drag, Drag Racer, playing a great tournament tonight. That trip's tight end looking really good awaits in the finals. Chad, who do you like to win this game? Do you, do you think it's going to be Rage? Does Rage get his revenge from last week and end Prodigy's run? Or does Prodigy continue to dominate Rage and get a victory once again. CJ Lloyd in the chat. Uh, you have to, I will type in the chat. You just go to my channel. If you go to my channel, if you type exclamation prime in my chat, that's how you do it. My guy Studwell, same as it ever was. Are we back on the music talk in the chat? I form close here for Prodigy, second down and one. ISO running into a wall of Steelers, and that's going to be short. Third down and one coming. No, oh, they, they gave him that spot too? I need to see that one over again. Two-minute warning hits. That's a big, big spot right there for Prodigy. Spots have been really favorable. I feel like they're like half-yard favorable. Yeah, yeah, spots are definitely favorable in this game. And right now, it's I mean every inch and – Every every foot matters. And Rage, once again, he, he gets hit in the backfield but still gets a yard because of the animation right there. And it's a tough game. These guys are fighting it out. They're so familiar with one another. They know what each other are going to run. They know what they like to run. Down to the detail, down to Rage is on the right hash right here. Prodigy knows what Rage is going to run on the right hash. Cuts that beautifully to the outside, and that's Bo Jackson across midfield, 40 30 and a nice tackle by Lawrence Taylor, but that's going to cost Rage a timeout. So now he needs to get off the field right here. Already allowed Prodigy to find field goal range. So we had a sub coming in from Gain Green. Appreciate the Twitch Prime in the chat. Again, guys, sound like a broken record. We got another gifted sub coming in from Canona, his 87th through 38 weeks of Friday Night Football. Again, guys, if you have Amazon Prime, you do have Twitch Prime. Link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You'll get one free sub that will renew automatically or i'm sorry it'll just regenerate for you to give every 30 days so make sure you're giving it to one of the streamers that you enjoy if it's not us you can go hop in prodigy stream or go hop in rage's stream and tell them that you appreciate them uh helping to grow competitive madden or you know any of our great competitors out here it's my guy scott aka superman 7188 with the sub as bo jackson finds yet another first down Run game is picked up for uh, Bo Jackson here with Prodigy. That puts him over 140 yards on 18 carries. 
And that's pretty much going to do it right here. I mean, he's in field goal range. Going to save that timeout for the ice, but it's a really short kick. It's a very short kick. And unless Rage fails to kick it perfect and Prodigy blocks the kick, it should be GG's in the chat. I played Rage the other day. We were getting some uh, prep with Club Series tournament coming. So we got a game in, and I ended up block It was like right about at this spot here. I blocked this kick and cribbed it. <laughs> Actually, this is how the game went. He was up nine. He was uh, he was up nine, and I blocked his kick, picked it up, cribbed it. It was in the fourth quarter, and then I went downfield, scored a touchdown, went for two to win the game. He was sick. <laughs> he was sick. I mean, but some of us got dots. You know, I don't know what else to say. Some of us have dots, and some of us know how to block kicks. You got you got to prepare for everything on the field. You know. So now Prodigy will burn his. First time out with three seconds left in regulation. We'll see Rage burn his last time out to ice the kicker. Now we'll watch Prodigy from 31 yards, right hash mark for number nine. Let's see which number nine, number nine, number nine. There's like three people in the chat that know what I'm doing right now. And it's up. And it's right through the uprights. 13-10, that's your final. And Prodigy moves on to our final matchup. He'll be taking 